game after c5. Now I play d5 here to occupy the center. And now I think the Grandmaster committed um, by taking e takes d5. I think this is too early. I think this is his first mistake in the game. He traded in the center too early instead of keeping the tension. Um, I don't think he's supposed to trade because it allows him to it allows him to get a cramped position. It allows White to get a free center for nothing, and controlling the being able to control the center means that you're going to be able to develop easily. Um, I think the alternative there are two alternatives here. Namely, bishop takes c3, which is probably a better try. <coughs> B takes c3, d6, e4. This demonstrates uh, one of Black's idea to trade the bishop, put his pawns in the dark squares, and prove that the two knights are better. Mm, play could go on with e5. Bishop d3, knight bd7, knight e2, queen e7, bishop g5, h6, with with equal chances for both sides. Another interesting idea in this game is, in this line is, b5. Very interesting. Which kind of shocked me the first time I've seen it when I was playing Blitz on ICC and I thought that why could just play e4 and get the center and get the advantage for free but then he has this move b takes e4, bishop takes e4, then knight takes d5 which was kind of shocking to me at first um, because it's so unexpected and moves such as e takes d5 does not quite work because of queen h5, queen h4 check getting the bishop. So bishop takes d5, he takes d5, queen takes d5, knight c6. Then knight g2, castling, um, or bishop a6 is probably even better. And king f2, and once again, I think this is quite a playable game for both sides. It's not one-sided. <coughs> Black's weak center pawns compensates for his two bishops and um, the, the activity that he can um, produce later on in the game. And so, I think these alternatives are better than what the Grandmaster did. He takes d5 is probably a mistake. C takes d5. Now white, I think white has this light plus since he's got the center for free. Black continued with the castling e4 or key 8. And the idea of this move is to make white think now and where is he going to develop his bishop? Because after bishop d3, d6, knight g2 is no longer possible, so it's kind of like hard to find a way for white to develop his pieces because of knight takes d5. But then again, white could just play knight g2 here. Um, I found an easy solution to this problem. The idea of this move is to put the knight on g3, bishop on e2, castling on the king's side. play bishop g5, then later barrage on the center with f4 and e5, play bishop e4. Where black couldn't really do much in a cramped position like this. <coughs> now, black continued with An interesting idea, b5. 
continue with knight g3 carrying on with my plan a6 defending the b5 pawn bishop e2 d6 castling now for some reason the grandmaster made another weird move here bishop a5 which i think this is a position positionally horrible move i think if he's going to move his bishop he should at least trade on c3 because the bishop on the queen side does not really promise a lot. I don't see a promising feature. Uh, so I just carry on, carried on with my plan, bishop g5. And now he played h6, preventing me from getting f4 and e5. But then just bishop f4, preventing knight bd7, which really makes uh, Black Black's life miserable because he can't really do anything here. Bishop b7 fails to knight f5. And knight bd7 fails to bishop takes d6. And there's really no way for him to develop. There's no clear way for him to develop this these minor pieces on the back rank. Um so he just decided to play knight h7. He's running out of a plan here. Knight h7. He's so planless now because his position is really dry. There's not really a lot for him to do in this position. Um, now it's visible why it's bad to give up the pressure or or the fight for the center in in the early stage of the game. <coughs> Now I played a4. It's time to create weaknesses on Black's position. <coughs> um, this move just um, provokes b4, which leaves the c4 square weak for the knight. And if he plays b4, I'll probably just play knight b1 to d2 to c4 and this bishop is really gonna look gruesome on a5 